In this lesson, we're going to be discussing about color swatches within Illustrator CC. Now, color swatches are basically um, colors that you'll use continuously throughout your project. So if you are into Illustrator already, you'll know that color swatches sort of hold um, the power to have a color scheme. Now, Illustrator CS6 has a cool new features for color swatches, and I wanted to show you. So what I've done here is I've mimicked on my artboard the color swatches of what it should be like. So each of these are um, quadrilateral squares, so they're all even, but I've just made them into a color swatches. Now, if we go over here, these color swatches are all here as well. But if I hover over them, they have this C and then equals 80 and then MYK. Now, this can be a bit confusing for people who don't know about what color swatches do. Now, I want to tell you that if you don't have your color swatches, first of all, go to window and then go down to color swatches or down, if I can find it, to swatches down here and it'll come up. Now this idea down here, if you look at them, they're all different colors and we have the same thing of our layers panel here as well with a few new things. So we have this bit here, if we hover over it, we show, show swatch kinds menus. So we can actually get preloaded swatches from Illustrator from here. If we go here, preloaded ones are all here and you can define your own. And you have a cooler capability here. So on Adobe Cooler, you can make your own color swatches on the internet and then download them into your Illustrator or Photoshop. So that means that you can make your own color swatches really easily whilst keeping to a strict rule. Now color swatches, if you are on Illustrator, will turn up like this. So you'll have white or you'll over here you'll have none and you'll have a registration, which I'll talk about in another video. And then we have white, black, and then we have red, yellow, green, uh, cyan, and it'll show you all the different ones. But what if you wanted to make your own, or what if you want to edit them? Well, if you're doing print work, the best way to do it is to double click on a swatch. Now, this is the swatch options over here. What we see in this is that the swatch name is C85, but you can change that. So we're gonna change this to green, or to middle green. And then we have this color type thing, which is process or spot. Spot colors are generally global colors. So it will globalize your colors. And we have a color mode. And if you don't know, and you haven't watched my last videos, a color mode is basically how it's going to look when it's printed or looks when you export it. So I've used CMYK because maybe I want to print this. And then the printers use CMYK. So what we have here is the data values for CMYK. So when we're trying to make a swatch, we can either use the CMYK options or we can go down to our color picker options. So in here, I'm going to show you that if I turn the cyan down, it'll go more yellow. If I turn the magenta up, it'll go more brown. If I turn the yellow up or down, sorry, it'll go cyan. If I turn the key up, it'll go black. Now, the reason being for this is because the color this is how the printer is going to see the color. So if I turn the magenta up on the printer, the magenta is going to go up to 89%. Now the general rule is that you don't want to go over 200% on here. Now I definitely have on here. So I'm going to click off this and press cancel and double click again. The general rule is 250% is what you want. Uh, I said 200% before, but I meant 250. Um, so that is how the color swatch is made within Illustrator with the CMYK panels. This is so you can tell how much ink is going to be on the paper. Some printers don't like using more than 250, some don't mind, but it really depends on the printer and the paper. Okay, so if I went wanted to make a new swatch, say if I went to my color picker. Now, I don't want to click it once. I need to double click it twice to get to my color picker. This gives us the HSB RGB value system or CMYK on here. Now, I can turn this up on the hues and then I can change the saturation and it'll automatically give me a CMYK value, RGB value, or HSB value. So that's really good. Also, you have a hex code. So you can import this into Photoshop or whatever. You can show it only web colors if you wanted to, and you can do all that as well. So what if I wanted to create a nice sort of blue? So if I go down, it's desaturated. I want to make it nice blue. Okay, there we go. That will show me what my last one is. And we can go to color swatches and see them as well. If I wanted to add this to the color swatch panels, uh, we can in web correct it or we can go ahead and press OK. Or if I get back to that, because I just totally deleted it. If I go here 
it's in my swatch there. I can double click or just click here on the new swatch and I'll get this panel back out. Then I can press spot color to keep it globalized. So if I change that swatch color on the artboard or any of my drawings, all the other ones will change as well. Uh, and then I can press OK. And then I'll get a new swatch down here. Now this one's got a spot on it to let you know it's a spot color. The idea of a spot color is if I just turn this to, this blue one here to blue, if I change this, that will change at the same time. But because I use this one here as this color here, if I change this one up here, it wouldn't change at the same time. It will keep it separate. So the color swatches are very useful within Illustrator and you'll need them. So if you wanted to go and get some other color swatches within Illustrator, you would go here, down into your swatches panel, go here to appearance or just above the appearance panel and go to all these different sort of sections. So I want, let's say, nature beach and I'll bring up this bit here. If I just bring this down a bit, we can see we've got a load more here. If I wanted to get this into my color library, I just click on the folder, say if I wanted beach four, and I'll go straight into my color library and click off it, then I can start using it. So I can start putting in my different swatch values in here, like so, like that. And that'll give us the color swatches. If I wanted to make them all spot colors, I would just click on one, hold shift and click on the double click on the last one, press spot color, okay. So then if I change any of them, it should, if I already clicked them on, it will change the rest of the artboard.